What's up guys, MagicTheRacingNews.com here to watch the Grade 1 Alabama Stakes at, at Saratoga on Saturday, August 19th. Race 9 on the card, and if you want to watch the race with me as I'm analyzing this live for the first time, click the link right here. They're loading into the gate. I'll see you when they break. Alright, Defining Purpose is in the gate finally. Didn't want to go in, but she's in. They're off. And it looks like the 4 Sabra Tough came out a bit. Knocked a 5 Fireline. I'll bet quite a bit, but you're going to see the 10 defining purpose. This was expected, and the 8 randomized. They're going to go to the front here uh, in the first turn. Remember, going a mile and a quarter, front running speed usually helps, but there could be a pace meltdown that happens. We'll find out. So it's going to be randomized into the lead, uh, leading into the first turn there. Uh, wet paint very close up there. I was very surprised to see her hugging the rail. Kind of about in fourth there. It looks like Chocolate Gelato was sitting outside. Um, there's another horse. I can't see who the chiclet is in that spot. Uh, Tax is up pretty close as well. Uh, big gap back to uh, to Sabra Tough. Uh, Julia Shining also not that far back. At, and by that I mean she's actually kind of mid-pack there. Thought that she'd be back where Gambling Girl is at there. Uh, 47 and 4 for the half. That's quick, but that's, you know, that, I thought this could actually go a little bit faster than that. So... Uh, pretty nice right now. Randomized the horse that won the Wilton Stakes here it was nine to two on the morning line. Went off at seven to one uh, in this spot. So not agreeing with the uh, morning line there. Uh, Wet Paint now being asked to go. She's on it's third on the inside there. Uh, looks like one of the Rapoli horses has already given up. That's Chocolate Gelato. She's done. Uh, looks like the f is that the five. It looks like the five is done as well. I'm just calling horses that are out because the front runners are still there. It's still randomized in front, still defining purpose. In second, wet paint is coming. Tax is sitting there in fourth. <clears throat> randomized is gonna. She has. If she can get to the mile and a quarter here, man, she has got this. She's had it every step of the way. She has still got it. Wet paint is trying. Bless her heart, wet paint is trying. She's going to get up for a second because Defining Purpose definitely can't handle that distance. Randomized, got to hand it to her. Did not think that she was going to be able to handle the distance. I thought when she won the Wilton that she got away with a very slow pace against, you know, lesser tier horses, right? It says stakes race was restricted to a certain number of horses. You couldn't have won a stakes race uh, up to that point. So, now she comes into a grade one, you know, facing a horse that was going to be a favorite in the Kentucky Oaks. And but paint ran very well there, but holy smokes, did not expect that uh, that effort from Randomized. Hats off to her uh, being able to do that. Uh, front end, get pretty much gate to wire there. Joel Rosario, excellent ride from Joel Rosario there. Um, man, she got the job done. Uh, now, it was slow there at the end, but there's, you know, these are three-year-old fillies being asked to go a mile and a quarter. Um, again, I thought Wet Paint dug in really well on the rail, uh, defining purpose. Um, I, you know, the fact that she held on for a third I thought was impressive just because I thought that she would hit, get to about a mile, mile and a sixteenth and just completely quit. So, it didn't happen there. Or if she did quit, everyone else kind of quit behind her as well. Um, <clears throat> as far as, uh, you know, things to take out of this, randomized, very clearly a horse to watch out for, uh, come Breeders' Cup for the Distaff, as far as, you know, watch how she develops, might have one more start, maybe the Cotillion Stakes, we'll see what Chad Brown wants to do with her, maybe save her for the Spinster at Keeneland, uh, as a final prep, we know Chad Brown likes to go there. Uh, Wet Paint, see nothing wrong with, you know, the effort that she gave, she was, the Flavian Pratt did have her closer to the pace than she has been in the past. I don't think that caused her, you know, any chance of losing. I, there was no catching randomized today. Randomized got to the front, kind of got to do her own thing, and that was the, uh, the difference maker, it seemed like. Um, defining purpose, I think she is a really, really good, great mile horse. But, you know, mile and a quarter, no interest there. So uh, that's what I think about that. That is the Alabama Stakes for three-year-old Phillies. Fantastic effort from Randomized. Fantastic ride from Joel Rosario. Credit where credit's due. Uh, trainer Chad Brown had two horses in here. This one and uh, Fireline. Fireline didn't fire, unfortunately, but Randomized definitely did. So 
hats off to the connections what did you think about the race tell me down below in the comments section make sure before you leave you hit like on the video hit subscribe to youtube.com slash racing dudes and until next time good luck at the races RacingDudes.com is your home for the best free picks for every race, every track. Summer's here, our picks are heating up, we want you to join us in the fun. Subscribe to the Racing Dudes YouTube channel right now, click the notification bell, you don't want to miss a single one of our awesome videos. Want to make money betting horses? Bet with the Racing Dudes.